so big welcome to today's live angel event for you how to read the angel cards in case you haven't met me before i'm at beautiful gardens today where are you today it's just absolutely gorgeous here just breathe in that tranquility for a moment breathe in breathe out and if you haven't met me before i'm beverly densham author of the beautiful book i talk to angels i'm also as well as angel expert, Pilates expert, have over 23 years. Love helping people reduce back pain to feel good in mind and body. And also angel expert for Spirit and Destiny magazine. I write for the magazine and do a live event for them every week as well. Today it's all about how to read the angel cards. So I'm coming live for you regularly on my page and social media now for you. Right? For one to five minute tips, inspirations, meditations, mindset, positive affirmations. Today it's all about how to read the angel cards. So please say hello, that'd be amazing. So today we're going to be using the angelic meaning cards. This is my deck of angel cards, which are flying everywhere at the moment. <laughs> so get the cards out. If you have a deck of cards, join in. Otherwise, you can be inspired from this today. And you can take any biography or top cards out. If it's a brand new deck, it's really good to just like touch each card before you start. I like to say I love you to every single card when it's a brand new deck you can do it how you like you can also tap the cards to clear the energy from the manufacturing process and and if there's only any negativity around you it just helps you uh, create a fresh start then you're going to give them a shuffle it's good to do an angel prayer before you start just to create an inspirational protected space as well and it also can be good to do a quick meditation as well you can do this technique on your own to pick what's the best card for you today or you can also do it as well picking a card in this way with friends and family so just give the cards a shuffle or just move the cards around sorry if it's going to be a bit noisy at times i'll move over a little bit for you to see if we can um enjoy the nature just for a moment and i think we're going to start off with a little breathe and relax for maybe four breaths in and out go into an angel prayer and then show you how to connect in with your guardian angel and pick a card for daily guidance. Like, what do you want to know today? Um, one of my clients, um, new clients the other day said, you know, I really want to learn how to use angel cards. So I thought I'd come along and share a quick five minutes with you on this today. So just close your eyes and just take four breaths in and out. In through your nose, out through your mouth, relax. And again, breathe and relax. In through your nose and out through your mouth, relax twice more in through your nose and out through your mouth relax one more time breathe and relax let's go into an angel prayer together now so it's quite nice to do an angel prayer you can do my i talk to angels prayer from my angel book or you can enjoy this archangel michael prayer too here we go this is for you today you can do this silently is absolutely fine just for yourself or with friends and family. Archangel Michael, please place a blue purple cloak bubble of protection around you and this and my Facebook page and that this angel card reading is for the highest good of you and everyone and everything around you and me. Guardian angels, please help you and me see, hear, feel and know what the angels would love to say today. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so let's now go into the next bit. So I'm going to move over to another spot for you, just so it's lovely and quiet. Okay, so give your cards a shuffle is the next step. So just giving the cards a little shuffle. And then we're going to pick a card together. So going into a little quiet spot here. <laughs> so yeah, just give the cards a little shuffle. So I've already shuffled the cards and then fan the cards out and then ask your guardian angel, which you can do it silently is absolutely fine, which is the best card for you today. So I'm going to pick you a card here right now. Best card message for you today, please, is the word send is really jumping out on this card. It definitely feels like the right card to pick and basically trust that the card that you're most drawn to will be the correct card to pick. So this is the dad card, actually. And it says, send a card, just lift it up for you so you can see. Send a card to your dad to say seven things you are grateful for. If your dad's in heaven, write a card to say all the things you'd love to say. 
So first of all, what you want to do when you're picking a card for yourself, and of course it can be with friends and family as well, is think to yourself, what does the message mean to you? And then the angels are saying you can then delve deeper into asking your angel for any more guidance on that message. So notice what thoughts pop into your head. You'll know it's always angelically guided when the thoughts are positive um, and inspirational. Anything negative, you know, absolutely 100% is not from your angel. So that is the absolute basics of how to read the angel cards. Trust that the card you pick is the perfect card for you. And that is, that is the basics today. I wanted to try and stick to five minutes for you. <laughs> um, but that is, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. If your deck of cards, these are my angelic meaning cards. If your deck of cards comes with a booklet, read the booklet as well. And if you're doing a picking, um, reading the angel cards with a friend or family, uh, you have a turn voicing and speaking about what that card message means to you, then have a conversation about it and then swap over and then the other person picks a card. Now, this can be in person if you're lucky enough to see a few people <laughs> this year. It can also be on the telephone. It can be on Zoom, FaceTime, whatever as well. So I'd love you to comment with what the message means to you today. I think it's a beautiful one. It's just been my dad's birthday. So happy birthday, dad. <laughs> 83 young. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I did send my dad a card. I did send him a prezi. I did ring him in the morning. <laughs> um, didn't see him physically this year though. Um, what about you? What does that mean to you? Do you love picking, um, reading angel cards? Would you like to learn more? So I had somebody the other day, um, new, I did a one-to-one -one angel session with, with, um, a new lady who's going to do my practitioner course actually my angelic lifestyle practitioner course for angel card readings, angel healing. And she, she just really wants to know how, not just like, oh, card message of the day. And I have to say, picking a card every day is brilliant, but she wants to go deeper. Um, so there's kind of three main ways you can go deeper is, um, is you can do um, my how to read the angel cards online course, which takes you a bit deeper. Um, then I have that as a, a much deeper transformational one-to-one -one how to read the angel cards little program um, otherwise I have my year-long practitioner course online which is amazing which includes angel healing too so um, how are you getting on with all your angel cards have you got any questions let's read your comments now looking lovely there yes yeah, beautiful isn't it beautiful <laughs> um, Kylie says beautiful time uh, our first timer here from Sydney, Australia. Oh, lovely to see you, Kylie. Thank you for coming. Nice, it's very relevant for me at the moment. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Yeah, where are you all? I'm in Dorset by the sea, but I thought we... So my plan is, is to keep coming to see you all regularly on my social media. And we do different topics. If you have a topic request, <laughs> comment away. <laughs> Um, so far we've been to on my balcony in the deck chair doing a two minute meditation together. We did another two minute meditation together at the seaside yesterday. Um, we also added in a positive affirmation, an angel card for you yesterday. And where are we going next? I think we're going to the woods next. So tomorrow I'll be live for you from the woods for probably a two minute meditation or maybe uh, reducing tension, tightness, stiffness in the neck, shoulders and back stretch maybe tomorrow. Um, that is the plan of action for you all. So yeah, I'm going to try and pop along for one to five minutes a day for you, um, Monday to Friday um, in beautiful different locations out in nature is the goal. Uh, so I really hope you enjoyed that today. Give it some hearts if you enjoyed it and uh, give it some shares if you think it will help someone else too. And I'd love you to comment with what the message means to you today. I'm going to go back down to the beautiful waterfall area. Can't see me very well at the minute because it's uh, sunny's beautiful um, sun. Gorgeous Japanese garden here. Anyway, that's kind of it today. How did you enjoy that today? How did you enjoy it? Um, Claire is in Pembrokeshire. Yeah, I really hope the card helps you in some way. And I hope you enjoy reading your angel cards and some of the tips help and inspire you today. 
send if you've got any questions comment away if you're watching in replay put hashtag replay look forward to seeing you tomorrow lots and lots of love <laughs>